Welcome back to Techno Search in YouTube channel. So Snapdragon has announced its new Snapdragon X Elite CPUs and these are basically SOCs based on their Aura and CPU cores and these are for Windows PCs and these are based on ARM so it's not x86 platform it's based on ARM and it does its rendering and stuff based on ARM processors and they had launched two variants which is X Elite and X Plus these are 10 cores and 12 cores part and it's AI PCs it's 45 tops of performance it has a total cache of 42 megabytes and it supports LPDDR5X 45 tops of NPU performance it X164 100 is Snapdragon X Plus CPUs it's 10 cores 3.4 gigahertz core clock base clock there's no boost clocks in this next up is their X Elite series which is X1E 78100 which is a 12 core part and yeah it is max multi-thread frequency is 3.4 gigahertz these are base, base clock speeds and dual core boost is none on this cpus the next is x1 e80 100 which is also 12 cores it is also has 34 3.4 gigahertz base clock but 4 gigahertz boost so this can hyper thread to 4 gigahertz x1 e84 100 is also 2 12 core cpus 3.8 gigahertz base clock and 4.2 gigahertz boost clock which is nice to see and yeah and speaking of which there is something which is going on with this x elite cpus according to semi accurate qualcomm is cheating on their snapdragon benchmarks x elite benchmarks because according to his sources two of the reviewers two of the oems and another person said to them that they are not able to replicate or not even close to the performance what Qualcomm is saying Qualcomm told us that the benchmark was cheats told us how they were cooked and stuff like that but still don't know anything I will keep you updated regarding it but yeah it looks nice just don't buy this PCs as of now because yeah it's based on ARM next up we already know like MSI an announced a new Aegis update for their for AM5 which is based on Ryzen 9000 like it provides support for Ryzen 9000 but we never knew that AMD will name it as Ryzen 9000 but today Gigabyte has unveiled their chipset driver for Zen 5 and they just clearly states that it is going to be called AM it says get ready for AM5 next gen next gen BIOS and Aegis 1.1.70 beta BIOS for the coming AMD Ryzen 9000 processors 9000 series so this just confirms it that for the next generation AMD is going with Ryzen 9000 naming schemes and yeah it's to be expected because 8000 naming scheme was already taken kind of taken and yeah it is available for gigabytes AM5 X670 and 650E motherboards and everything else so overall pretty nice excited about AMD's Ryzen 9000 series and for the desktop these are for desktop so it is it's going to be the best CPUs in the market when it launches but the rumors are it is going to be launched during Computex. Next up, we have some news regarding engineering samples for Strix and Strix Serial Point. Basically, and these are engineering samples, so it's going to be pretty low in core frequencies and stuff like that. But these are clocked at 2 gigahertz. It so shows 2 gigahertz, but internally it's 1.4 gigahertz. And these are engineering samples, so keep that in mind. And one is 12 cores, so it's Strix Point, and the other is 24 cores, so yeah and it says two processors so it's not two processors it's just geekbench is having some issues with it but it's nice because we are going to get increase in core frequencies and it's higher than eight cores for for their last gen and the most important thing to see over here is the multi-core score and multi-core score is looking pretty insane at this thing because yeah because it's 11,000 and this processors this Strix point processors are just clocked at 2 gigahertz and it's core multi-threaded score of 8016 for the low end part and the high end part score 11974 which is almost on par with Ryzen 9740 HS CPUs and it's clocked at 2 gigahertz while those are clocked at 5.2 gigahertz or relatively close and they are also close to 8000 series and speaking of which if we say it's two gigahertz and if the core frequency increases or the base frequency increases for this cpus 
then we are going to get desktop level performance because Ryzen 9 7900X is clocked at 5.6 GHz. So for example, if this processor can go as high as 5 GHz also, we are going to get instant multi-core threaded performance. Next up, there's a tweet by Kepler that Navi 4 line of that RDNA 4 will only support 18 gigabits per second memory speed, which is a bummer to see because NVIDIA is going with 27 megahertz, 27 gigabits per second by micron, and all of Navi 28 gigabits, and all of Navi 4 or RDNA 4 will support this thing, which is 18 gigabits per second. And AMD was never about memory speed, it was more about infinity cache and the infinity fabric may be having faster memory for that interconnect if that's the case then they don't need a faster memory for doing what they are capable of but it looks bad for rx 8000 as of now with that memory speed but let's see how things turns out for rx 8000 if this is going to be a good cpus gps or bad but yeah that's it from me today what do you think about the new sound of your thoughts in the comment section below like share and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next one peace out